Hi guys, this is Elliot from Little Punk People here. Today, I'm here with Ben from Goat Whore. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do So how are you doing today? And how does it feel to be back in NYC again? I feel like I'm having deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing really good. We we just came from Boston. We had a really good show in Boston last night, and uh, ready to play New York City. It's great, awesome to be back here. I think it's gonna be an awesome show. I have a really good feeling about it this evening. Awesome. So, did you walk around before, or beforehand? Yeah, actually, I drove around yeah, yeah. everywhere looking for a parking spot. So yeah, I kind of like got to see the city through the windshield of a van again and again and again. But I have been here as a tourist and walked around, so I know where things are, I know how things look. I've been through a lot of things. Went to the top of buildings, overlooked the city. So yeah, it's all good. Nice, got yeah. a lot of exercise in. Yeah, the steps, the steps on the yeah. app. <laughs> yes, <laughs> got to count it every day. The, the reason why we're laughing so much is because we had to restart. <laughs> 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 if the world was about to end, what would be your last words? Slayer. <laughs> now, we said, we said originally we said in the name in the in the words of Judas Priest, keep the faith. But then we said, well, we just said, say, what did you say, metal? Be just oh, like, but metal. Slayer, yeah. because everybody yells Slayer about anything, no matter what's going on, they yell yeah. Slayer. So any of those possibilities could work out. You know, what would be pretty funny. But they couldn't finish the words. It was like Slayer, and that's it. Yeah, we cut, or it's a slay and it cut off after that. Like everything <laughs> fell in. <laughs> Your song, Where the Sun is Silent, reminds me of a satanic ritual. What would you do if the crowd turned into demons while you played it? We would continue playing, and I would be really, really stoked that after all these years, everything I did in my lyrics finally came together and made something like that happen. And then, I mean, I mean there was a possibility, like I said, it could be like the Hell Awaits cover from Slayer where everybody's being torn apart. Or it could be like from Dust Till Dawn where they're using like body parts as instruments and stuff. So, you know, the possibility is endless, but we definitely try to keep playing depending on what was going on. Or just play that song for th your last show. Yeah, it could be the last show. Do you ever get afraid of the thought of dying? Actually, no. I was, uh, maybe when I was younger, but... I got. In, I was in an accident in like 2001, and it was pretty. It was pretty bad. I like broke both legs, both ankles. I was in the hospital a long time. I had a bunch of surgeries, and I kind of confronted the idea of death a lot during that time period. And I think I've kind of embraced it. And now it's just like I just go along, and you know, it, to me, it's like whenever it happens, it happens. There's no, you know, situation where you can control it or anything like that. But I still feel like. I have a lot of things that happen in my life and I still feel like death is like always following me because I cheated him. So it's always there and everything, but I'm not afraid of it. I feel like it's an inevitable thing and it's gonna happen eventually one day. So I just go along with life and I do the things I like to do and what I like to enjoy. And then whenever it comes and whenever he steps in and sits down and says, all right, let's do this, I'll be ready to go. I'm more afraid of, of my family or people I know dying, you know? Well, yeah, of course, but I, I really believe, you know, like, I mean, we're not going to be here forever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like an inevitable thing. It's not a negative thought. It's yeah. just the cycle of life and how things kind of flow out, you know? Yes, I hate, you know, I've lost loved ones, you know, as I was growing up and stuff like that. I've lost friends to things, but... You understand that it's all part of this like cycle that moves and you know you just kind of embrace it and you move forward with it what would you do if you woke up and saw that your head was a goat head when you looked in the mirror i'd have to look over next to me and make sure it really wasn't sammy <laughs> when you were a kid what did you want to be when you grew up <laughs> There was two things I wanted to be, and both of them were definitely not good with my life currently. I wanted to be a stunt person, and I wanted to be a race car driver, like NASCAR. Wow. I get, I've got, I got an accident, I've broken a lot of bones, so the stunt thing might have worked out really well, 
in the favor of everything I'm doing. The racing car thing, nah, not not so much. I would have been in a lot of accidents and then never won anything. So. Well, you never know. Yeah, but yeah, those were the things I was really into when I was a kid. I don't, I'm not really sure why it was intriguing me, but definitely a stunt a stunt person or a race car driver. Well, that seems like that'd be a cool thing to be when you're young, young, you know? Yeah, yeah, something destructive. Yeah. Yeah. If Satan himself was on Earth right now in human form, would you like to meet him? Actually, he is. His name's Sammy. I play in a band with him. <laughs> he plays guitar. He writes riffs for Gold Whore. I mean, come on. You think um, he's Satan? I, I mean, yeah, definitely. If... Uh, it might even be in human form. You never know. You know, the world's a mysterious place. You might have ran into him at one point, you know. You did do an interview with Nurgle, I know. So, you know, there's some element there as well. <laughs> you, you might have confronted him already and you don't even know it. <laughs> Sometimes I hear a rock and roll influence in your music. What are your favorite rock bands? Check this out, dude. Did you hear that question? He just said... Sometimes he hears a rock and roll influence in our music. That's not many people that say that, but I would have to say our, our man over here, our sound guy, he always said, you're a rock and roll band, you're not a metal band. You see? That's good that you noticed that. That's not actually what I said. <laughs> well, it's... I, say, I say that they are the greatest rock. <laughs> <laughs> and so... But, but yeah, we have a lot of different like elements like that, you know, we definitely have a mixture of things going on. Like we, you know, when, when we started, it was, you know, a basis of like Celtic Frost, Phantom Bathory, and then we evolved from there. But we had a lot of like rock elements of like, you know, like early Judas Priest and like Motorhead and ACDC and things like that, that are intertwined in the structure of like how we write and stuff like that. So there's definitely a lot of like rock and roll based stuff. We would never neglect that whatsoever. It's definitely a huge influence in what we do. Yeah, I hear it a lot in some of the riffs that you guys make and stuff. Do you know when you'll start working on your next record? I would say, I mean, we've kind of already have like a few little skeleton structures of songs kind of worked out. Sammy has a lot of riffs and he throws these little ideas all together and shares it with everybody so we have a few little things that are kind of in the work so it's kind of started a little bit mm -hmm. and then next year we probably won't tour so much so we'll probably focus a little bit more on more writing and probably get into the studio by the end of next year great i'm looking forward to that yeah do you like christmas if so what do you want for christmas Oh boy, oh boy. Um, when I was a kid, I really liked Christmas. And then as I got older, I didn't like it so much because I had to spend a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got to a point where I like it because it's a moment where, like, with my family, we kind of got to a point where we stopped buying stuff for each other. And we said, why don't we just get together as family? And it's a moment of time when we all get together and hang out and do things instead of like all year long, you know, whatever. We're on, I'm on tour. My sister's like, I have a sister who lives in Denver. I have a sister who lives in Tennessee, you know, and it's like we get together and we hang out as a family and we drink and we talk about things and stuff like that. And we go through things because we felt like the element of like the gift giving thing is just like it's it's not really needed anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like we're. We're all a big family, and we just need to hang out together and see each other. Because you never know when death will show up, of course. That's, that's probably horrible to say, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that, and um, what was the second half of that question? What would you want for Christmas? You see, I don't really uh, I, I want... I want people to appreciate metal more so than they ever have before. Yeah. That's what I want. Because I don't, I don't think people don't realize how unique metal is and how hard all these bands work to do yeah. this and what they do in the whole scheme of things, you all know. And not only that, like, I really believe, too, that, like, nowadays metal's so much more, like, intelligent and it has so many more ideas within it. And, 
you know, like people always overlook it and push it off on this weird little thing like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a metal band. But it's like, no, it isn't. There's so much more to it. It's a deeper aspect to it. Okay, for these questions, you're going to say what you, what, uh, what's your favorite album from each band, okay? Motorhead. Orgasmatron. Slayer. Hell Waits. King Diamond. Oh, man. Abigail. I love Conspiracy a lot. I love that album. But that's a good that's a good pick. Black Sabbath. That's a hard one, man. There's so many good ones. Um actually I'll go with an odd one here. Born again. I haven't listened to that one yet. I haven't listened to that one yet. <laughs> I'm going to go off the Aussie tangents. <laughs> Radiohead. Uh, I, I have to be honest with you. I'm not really, like, I'm not a big Radiohead fan. <laughs> it's okay. We just wanted to see what you, you would have said for that one. Immortal. All Shall Fall. Goat Whore. I can't pick a favorite record for Goat Whore. I can't. It's not possible for me. Because every record's unique for me, you know? It's like a step in life for me, so I can't do that. It's like picking an... Like, I have, like, eight kids, and I have to pick which kid I like the best. That wouldn't be right. <laughs> That's a good answer. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, not really. I like, definitely appreciate your time, and I appreciate that you do this and your involvement within the metal scene and your dedication and how you keep the flag and keeping the faith and what's going on in the extreme music scene, and thank you very much. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hi, guys. This is Elliot from Little Pump Pupil, and I want to say thank you for watching our video, and to make sure you guys go follow us on Instagram, at Little Pump Pupil, all one word, and if you guys want to follow my personal, it's E-L-L-I-O-T-T-F-U-L-L-A-M on Instagram. Thank you for watching, and have a nice night.